Okay, what we're going to do on these now is we're going to mark out the horizontal lines um, and mark out the hole, the tin wall hole, for where this uh, pin can drive through. Okay, so now is we're going to measure out where we're going to drill the 10 millimeter hole. That one there. Alright, um, but to do that, we're going to um, measure off the back of it. We're going to need not that side, because that distance from there to the center and there to the center are going to be different, but the distance from that side there. So, first off, we're just going to set it at about 25. Just mark a line through there and then mark a line through the other side. There we go, there's the nice line, that's the horizontal line that we've drawn. So the next line that's going to be going along the other axis, that's going to be need to be half of this site. Um, so we've just set that to 25 millimeters. And when we do that, we're gonna to need to make sure that we measure, measure it off the same off the same datum point, um, which means off the same side. So you can't mark it that side and then turn it round and do that side. You need to make sure that you mark it that side turn it around that way, mark it off that side, so that you're measuring the distance from the same point, all right? Now that we have our two lines, those two lines have created a point, that point we want to center punch before we drill it, and make sure that when you center punch it, you do not use, sit it on the surface table, because that is a precision instrument and should remain so. Right. Center punched, it's good to drill. Okay, so we're good to drill these, these 10 millimeter hole nails for the pins to go through. Um, but before we do, it's a really good idea just to create a small block that's a nice tidy fit like this for the, um, just to fit between it. So that means that when you start drilling it through, it won't, um, it won't compress and bend your nice 90 degree angles. Like that. Right, now we're going to mark out for the other holes here, these ones here which hold on this plate. Okay, uh, so we're going to be using these six millimeter screws, so half of six is three, uh, we want to have say a three millimeter gap, so, and we'll mark it out there. Go drill those out. Um, now that we've drilled all of these holes in here, we're going to transfer them across into here. Now if we were just to measure them out, use a handy dandy ruler and a, um, and a square or even vernier calipers, we'd still get them slightly wrong. So what we're going to do is we're just going to scribe the first one, trans, uh, transfer that down to the middle. We're going to drill that first, put a 10 mil hole through there, and then drill the 6 mils in place. So. Okay, so we've got these holes here, and we're just wanting to um, to be able to transfer these two six millimeter holes through onto this bracket here, uh, which is going to be the steering arm. And then we can use these holes as a guide to um, drill the holes that are going going underneath it. So we've got most of it to how we want it now. Uh, we just need to get this rod, um, make it, uh, face it off down to the right size, and then drill a hole through the middle of it. So how that's going to look is we're just gonna put it in there, face off one side of it, um, measure it out with a set of calipers, and then face it off to that dimension. Um, and then once we've done that, we, uh, and both sides have been faced off, we just center drill through the, um, uh, center drill the middle of it so that it's a nice centered hole and then we drill it all the way through with a 10 millimeter drill bit.
So we've got all the pieces for this ready now. Uh, all that really needs to happen is for them, for this main pin to be welded onto the steering arm. And uh, we'll go from there. Quick tip, before you weld it up, you want to make sure that you've got the holes lined up correctly. Because if you have it on backwards or the wiring around, it's going to be a nightmare. That's how to make most of your steering knuckles. Um, it's all together. All that needs to work on now is putting your, fixing your stub axle like this one here, and then um, fixing that roll pin onto your frame, uh, like you'll see in the next video.